business book summaries. If you're tired of feeling overwhelmed by tasks and stressed about prioritizing them, the Pomodoro Technique might be the solution for you. This method offers a simple and effective framework to structure your daily activities without the mental strain that usually comes with creating to-do lists. By the end of this audiobook summary, you'll discover how to manage large tasks, stay motivated, and transform complex projects into smaller, more manageable parts. Overview Procrastination is a common issue that many of us face. Picture this, it's early evening, you're in front of your computer, and instead of tackling a big project, you find yourself endlessly scrolling through social media. Despite feeling guilty, you can't seem to break the cycle. Author Francesco Cirillo understands this struggle and, inspired by his own experience, developed the Pomodoro Technique using a simple tomato-shaped kitchen timer. Before we delve further, remember that we regularly share new content. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel Business Book Summaries and hit the notification bell for the latest updates. This method helps break tasks into smaller, more achievable units called Pomodori enabling people worldwide to overcome procrastination and enjoy their work rather than constantly pushing it aside. Big Idea 1 Let's talk about the first big idea breaking down your work into smaller Pomodoro stories to make it more manageable. Many of us struggle with time when it comes to getting things done. It feels like time stretches endlessly as you try to complete the first slide of a dull presentation. Then, before you know it, time slips away while you're surfing the web and you haven't even finished that initial slide. The day ends, and you're left with the guilt and frustration of an unaccomplished to-do list. Desperate to catch up, you decide to work late into the night, only to find yourself wasting time online again. The cycle repeats, leaving you frustrated and fatigued. But there's good news studies have shown that we can overcome these unhealthy work habits. Here's how, break your work into small, manageable tasks lasting 20 to 45 minutes each. Work on these tasks without breaks or interruptions. Enter the Pomodoro Technique set a timer for 25 minutes and focus on a specific task you've chosen. This 25-minute period is called a Pomodoro. When the timer rings, take a 5-minute break to relax, drink water, stretch, or move around. After the break, you'll be refreshed and ready for your next Pomodoro. Big Idea 2 now, let's dive into the second big idea how Pomodori, those 25-minute focused work chunks, keep you motivated and stress-free. Structuring your work into these little Pomodori is not only easy but incredibly beneficial. It's a straightforward approach that doesn't require learning complex techniques or investing in expensive tools. Yet, it has the power to help you shed the guilt and anxiety of procrastination, making your work both rewarding and motivating. This technique puts you back in control of your time, from days to years. The beauty of the Pomodoro is in its small size a 25-minute chunk of time. This short duration makes it almost impossible not to maintain focus, and knowing you only need to work on a task for a brief period helps you avoid procrastination. You take short but focused actions, making it easier to stay motivated and accomplish more in your day. Imagine trying to climb Mount Everest in one leap it's daunting, and you end up procrastinating until the last minute. Now, consider setting a goal of completing 10 Pomodori per day, totaling just 250 minutes. Each Pomodoro becomes a manageable step in the climb, making daily progress more achievable. This steady pace beats the exhaustion of last-minute sprints and helps you keep your spirits high. Pomodori are not only manageable but also provide a sense of accomplishment after each one. You don't have to stress about the entire project, instead, you focus on one step at a time. The 25-minute intervals keep you from burning out, saving both energy and sanity. With the Pomodoro technique, you can leave work with a genuine sense of achievement. No more night shifts on the sofa use your free time to relax, spend quality moments with your family, or simply chill. Big Idea 3 Let's unpack the third big idea, the importance of sticking to complete Pomodori. In the Pomodoro technique, there's no such thing as a half Pomodoro, they're always a solid 25 minutes long. The simplicity of the technique is its strength, but it only works if you follow the rules. 
The first and most crucial rule is this. Once you start a Pomodoro, commit to the full 25 minutes of focused work on your chosen task, project, or presentation. No breaks, no quick snacks, and definitely no checking your email. It's a dedicated block of time, and you must not stop until those 25 minutes are over. Why be so strict with yourself? Because building this practice into a habit requires discipline. Strict adherence to the rules is the key to making this change automatic, something you do without even thinking about it. Now, what if you finish your task in only 20 minutes instead of 25? Simple keep going. Instead of ending the Pomodoro early, ask yourself if there's anything else you could review, perfect, or tweak in your work. Did you use the best font? Are there details you could enhance? If you finish early, resist the urge to start your break or check your email. There's usually a bit more you can do to improve your work. Even if you believe there's nothing more to add, and you still have a couple of minutes left on your timer, take that time to review your work. Recap what you've done to solidify it in your memory. Consider journaling about it, ensuring that your progress is ingrained and not rushed. This dedication to completing each Pomodoro sets the foundation for a more effective and disciplined work routine. Big Idea 4 Let's explore the fourth big idea, the importance of taking breaks. Once you've completed your Pomodoro, saved your work, and checked off a task from your to-do list, you're on to the next crucial rule. Breaks are not optional, they're mandatory. This rule is just as vital as the first one, so take it seriously. If you want to keep a focused mind, you need to give it a break. During your five-minute break, it's essential not to waste it by checking your email or doing anything strenuous. As authors Tony Schwartz and Jim Luer emphasize in The Power of Full Engagement, everything has an energy consequence. So, take a moment to relax, relish the feeling of completion, and allow your mind to recalibrate. This sets the stage for focusing on the next task with a refreshed and energized mindset. Big Idea 5 Let's delve into the fifth big idea sticking to the schedule of 25 minutes of focus followed by 5 minutes of rest. It's crucial because, without this rule, maintaining motivation becomes increasingly difficult. Adhering to this focus schedule trains your mind to sustain concentration in short sprints or intervals, making it easier to stay motivated. You're essentially training your mind to differentiate between focused work and break time. Diluting this rhythm gives your mind room to procrastinate. After each Pomodoro, taking a five-minute break is essential. But there's another vital break after completing four Pomodoro retreat yourself to a more extended break of 15 to 30 minutes. This structured approach has proven to be highly effective, not only in terms of productivity but also in sustaining motivation throughout your workday, helping you accomplish more with less stress. Now, let's talk about the tools you need for the Pomodoro technique and guess what? It's just a timer and two lists. Simple, right? Often, the best tools are the simplest. Any timer will do some use the stopwatch from their jogging sessions or their smartphones. Just set it to do not disturb mode while working. The two lists you need are to do today and inventory. To do today includes everything you aim to accomplish today, with specific Pomodori times attached. The tasks come from your inventory list, where you've gathered all the tasks you want to complete at some point. Estimating how many Pomodori a task will take is a skill you'll develop over time. While your estimates may not be perfect at first, you'll improve with practice. Varying your tasks helps maintain motivation. If, for example, a big project like a presentation on time management will take around 20 Pomodori, break it down into smaller units. Working on smaller, Achievable tasks is more rewarding and motivating than slogging through a giant project without completion. Remember, variety is the spice of life. Big Idea 6 Now, let's tackle the sixth big idea, understanding and managing interruptions. By now, you've realized that time can be your ally with the Pomodoro technique, but there are foes waiting to disrupt your productivity, interruptions. These are anything that diverts your focus from the task at hand. Surprisingly, many workdays are plagued by constant interruptions, and they come in various forms phone calls, emails, checking sports results, grabbing a snack, or even ordering pizza. 
Each one pulls you away from your focused work mode, interrupting your pomodori and reducing your efficiency. There are two main types of interruptions, internal and external. Internal interruptions are those pesky thoughts that pop into your mind, like a sudden project idea or the impulse to order pizza. External interruptions come from outside forces demanding your immediate attention, like a friend who loves to complain or the delivery guy with your pizza. But fear not. Big Idea 7 offers a solution. To manage interruptions and maintain focus, repeat to yourself, interruptions are not my master. I can and will protect my Pomodoro. When an interruption arises, jot it down and get back to your Pomodoro. Whether on paper or a digital device, capturing these interruptions opens the door to deeper productivity. Remember, not every interruption is an emergency. If it's not urgent, jot it down and deal with it after your Pomodoro is complete. Take a moment after finishing a Pomodoro to revisit these thoughts. You might find that what seemed critical during your focused work time may not be as crucial as you thought. If it still holds importance, add it to your inventory or to-do list. For external interruptions, try not to get drawn into other people's matters. Take control of your schedule and train others to respect your time. Steering clear of unnecessary external interruptions helps you protect your pomodori and maintain focus on your tasks. Here are three ways people can effectively use the Pomodoro technique. 1. Task Management and Productivity Boost Embark on your work journey by selecting a specific task or project. Set the stage for focused productivity by initiating a 25-minute Pomodoro. Dive into your work, channeling undivided attention until the timer softly rings. Following this dedicated stint, luxuriate in a brief 5-minute break, recharging your mental faculties. Rinse and repeat engage in four Pomodoros, and reward yourself with a more extended 15-30-minute break. Experience, this method transforms task completion into a rhythmic dance, breaking down seemingly overwhelming projects into digestible intervals. The structured approach keeps your focus intact, preventing exhaustion and fostering sustained productivity. 2. Time blocking for efficient workdays. Architect your day with precision by crafting a to-do today list detailing your tasks. Augment this with time estimates for each task in Pomodoros. Inscribe these dedicated work blocks into your schedule, meticulously adhering to the set time frames. As each Pomodoro unfolds, take breaks for recalibration. Conclude your day with a sense of accomplishment, having efficiently navigated your scheduled tasks. Impact. Time blocking with Pomodoro instills a sense of structure, enabling you to traverse your daily tasks with finesse. The method harmonizes ambition with realism fostering a balanced and productive work routine. 3. Minimizing interruptions and distractions. Illuminate your work rhythm to those around you, conveying the sanctity of your Pomodoro intervals. Diminish external disturbances by muting unnecessary notifications during your focused work periods. Politely articulate your commitment to the Pomodoro technique if interruptions arise, gracefully deflecting distractions. Document any stray thoughts or interruptions that arise, maintaining unwavering focus on the task at hand. Cultivate an environment where others respect and comprehend the significance of your Pomodoro intervals. Outcome By curtailing interruptions and fostering an environment of respect for focused work, the Pomodoro technique transforms your workspace into a haven of concentration, amplifying overall efficiency and diminishing the encroachment of stress. We're keen to hear your thoughts on our content. Feel free to share your opinions or recommend books in the comments section. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel Business Book Summaries and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our latest summaries. Thank you, and have a wonderful day.